Okay, so the other day I was trolling through, uh, sort of trolling, not trolling, through Twitter, and I was checking out all the neat content that uh, you folks have been making out there uh, with Camtasia. And I saw an instructor somewhere in the UK who was making, maybe he wasn't an instructor, maybe he was more an administrator, but he was making the case for why you should attend this particular university. And so he sort of had this reason number one, reason number two, um, that easily translates to steps, sort of recipes for how-to videos. And his transition looked a lot like this. It was, you know, a title card with some, some title in it, info in it, and the, the step number in sort of large block style. And he transitioned, boom, to this. And I was like, oh, that's really neat. But this kind of abrupt uh, cut, jump cut, made me feel like oh, that transition, we could probably improve it a little bit more. So what if it was something more along the lines of, wow, let's play that one more time and just check it out. Bam. So this is actually really easy to pull off in Camtasia 2020. Let's learn how to do this from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete and just uh, pop back to the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to, first of all, get myself a nice title card shape. So normally you'd come into annotations, shapes, and uh, probably bold because it has the crisp corners. And you'd grab one of these guys and reposition it, uh, size it appropriately. I've got something in my favorites that's already ready to go. Just a Camtasia shape. I'm going to drag it down to the timeline. And it's a 1080p size. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the color on this guy to something a little easier around the eyes than that bright red. And so here's my background, uh, my title card, if you will. And now I'm going to go back to my media bin and I'm going to move over and I'm going to grab this uh, block lettering, which I brought over from Sketch uh, in PDF format. Uh, you can use Illustrator or whatever your favorite vector tool is to create a PDF. I've actually got a tutorial up about using Sketch with Camtasia Mac. Here we go. I've got that titling. I want to offset it a little bit. So I'm going to come over here and just change my X coordinates to negative 122. Move it over a little bit. Okay, this is starting to shape up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and on this black letter, I'm going to turn on track mat alpha invert. And what alpha invert does is it basically says, hey, take the opaque pixels in this two and use them to punch a hole through this media on the track below, which is this white shape here so that I can see everything else that's below in the stack, right? So uh, now that I've got that uh, converted into a track mat, I'm just gonna group and clean up my track mat, turn it off because the track mat is already in the group now. And now let's talk about, let's animate this. So I'm just gonna move to the very end of this uh, clip, move back one frame, so I'm just on the very edge and I'm going to add a custom animation with a keyboard shortcut. So nothing fancy here. This guy is just uh, 20 frames in duration and he's got an easing of exponential in out, okay? So next thing we'll do is we'll just take this guy up to, um, how about 800%? And we're gonna move back. And you can see, okay, all right, all right. So we're getting somewhere. So now the rest is just real basic Camtasia stuff. Let's go ahead and add in a title here. So I'm gonna come over to my favorites again where I've got some, some titling ready to go here. Nothing fancy here, just a plain Jane a piece of text call out. It's uh left justified, top justified. I'm going to grab it and sort of position it. I don't know, somewhere in here. Seems right. Just give myself room for uh, a line or two. I'm going to keep that title fairly brief and we'll, you know, type in some text here, like, uh, 
custom transitions. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So I've got that in place. I'm actually going to move this up one, uh, one track. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the media bin and I'm just going to go ahead and grab this black letter two again and bring it down here. Right. And let's say with both of these, I'm going to make them about uh, this length right here. And with this black letter, you notice I'm offset right here. So I need to adjust the X position on it. So I'm going to come over and again, just tap in negative 122. Okay. So now it's lined up for me nicely. I'm going to jump to the end of this, move one frame back. I'm going to add a custom animation. I'm actually going to drag this out one frame so I can just get him lined up on it. And what I'm going to do on this guy is on this last super keyframe, we're going to just crank the opacity down, right? So pretty simple stuff. Um, I'm going to do something similar with this uh, titling where I'm going to have an exit to the uh, right here. So I'm going to, again, add a custom animation to this. And on this one, it's again the last super keyframe of that animation. I'm going to zoom out on the stage canvas area here and just go ahead and grab this guy and I'm going to move him. Oh, let's say out here a bit. Looking pretty good. And actually, you know what? I want the timing of this guy to match up what's going on with this black lettering. So it feels like the black lettering is pushing this guy off the screen. Let's see how that looks right now. So we'll go ahead and start animating. Yep. All right. Pretty good. I'm going to make sure you move this guy out a little bit more. Bam. All right. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to increase this by frame and just have this overlap just a little bit. This fade out on that big block letter red two, right? So if we back up on this now and come back here, uh, zoom in on the cave the stage canvas area, let's just get to close to 100%. Um, maybe get rid of some of the noise here. And again, pop back up. All right, now let's watch what we've got here. Voila, that's really cool. All right. It already feels less abrasive, less abrupt. Um, you're getting that kind of cool punch a hole, grow into it transition feel. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, you know, you'd finish this off by, by go ahead and, and grouping up these guys uh, back to the beginning. And best practices would be to rename this group uh, block to transition right and then you'd save that to your library now you know if you've got a little more time you probably uh, hey make this title card uh, animate in in some kind of cool way so i've got an example hidden around here somewhere where we can just take a look at a more fleshed out version of this so let's take a look yep this time with the letter one. So just like that, pretty easy to make really cool title cards, transitions into and out of them. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you're enjoying Camtasia 2020.